Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I come... Okay, we need to talk about these Taiwanese Pokeballs again. Because I told you about these the other day, and I told you they looked kind of cool. And I told you that, well, maybe they weren't everything. Maybe they were kind of cool little things, but they weren't that essential. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was wrong. And this is one of those beautiful situations where I am absolutely delighted to be wrong. You see, I showed you the other day what these were. Essentially, there were three different ones available, Poke Ball, Ultra Ball, and Quick Ball. And I told you that you would get five promo cards, including the Poke Ball. And you, sorry, six cards, the Poke Ball, five others. And you would get yourself five packs of the, what is Starbirth over in Taiwan. And this was kind of cool, but come on. You know, Ultra Ball's a great, great card that is going to be a staple in like every deck. But we've had Ultra Ball for ages. The old versions are legal for tournament play. It wasn't exactly something we actually needed. And Quick Ball was an amazing card, which is basically a staple in every deck. But we had it back in Sword and Shield. We've all got a play set of Quick Ball by now. It's not necessarily needed. And Poke Ball's kind of a fun card, but no one's kidding themselves that Poke Ball's an amazing card, are they? I really don't think they are. So... You know, they, they were fine, but I said, well, unless the other promos are really cool, I don't think it's something we really need to worry about. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the fact that we're now coming up with a follow-up video probably tells you everything you need to know. Oh my goodness, these are so much cooler than we thought they would be, and I remain extremely jealous. Something that I do need to point out, they did actually open a box of these over on the Taiwanese YouTube channel, and you will notice... There are four Pokeballs, one Quick Ball, and one Ultra Ball. Well, that's actually kind of annoying because, as I told you a moment ago, Quick Balls are staple in, like, every deck, and Ultra Balls are staple, or going to be, in, like, every deck, and Pokeballs kind of rubbish. So it's a little bit upsetting that it's literally, you know, four to one to one in terms of ratio. Bit sad. However, that's where the sadness ends. Because essentially what you get is the ball, four mirror foil promo cards, Rev Hollow, call them what you will, they're mirrored and foily and all lovely, and a guaranteed, it looks to be at least, you know, from the opening they did on the YouTube channel, it looks to be a guaranteed Pokemon V. And that's kind of amazing. So... We've got a whole bunch of cards here, and these are really, really cool cards, right? So, if we have a little bit of a look here, we've got the first lot of cards where you've got yourself an Eevee, and a Kangaskhan, and a Snorlax, Animal Pico, and a Pikachu. Interesting to note, that Eevee, for instance, is just the Eevee from Evolving Skies. It's the Eevee, I hate this Eevee, this Eevee makes me really mad, because so many people use this as the reason why the Eevee Lucians were going to be in Evolving Skies. Ignoring the fact that Japanese artwork is not going to tell us what's in the English sets, that's a little bit ridiculous. So this card always makes me a little bit mad. But what is interesting is that this is just the Eevee from Evolving Skies, and yet it is a promo. And it is a proper promo. You can look in the bottom left-hand corner there. It's got the little promo thing going on, which is extremely weird. The more Pico is an actual promo. Which is quite nice. Not a particularly good one, but it is an actual promo, so that's kind of cool. The Kangaskhan here is a Kangaskhan. It was actually a pre release promo in Darkness of Blaze. It was alternate artwork, which is extremely cool. And the Snorlax is the. I mean, it's Snorlax sleeping. It's kind of what he does, right? This was also a promo. So it's kind of interesting that the more Pico was a promo. And the Snorlax was a promo, and the Kangaskhan was a promo, but the Eevee is just the regular Eevee from Evolving Skies. So I haven't actually told you about the Pikachu yet, have I? How rude of me. It is also the Pikachu that just came around in Evolving Skies. It is your regular Evolving Skies Pikachu, which is a little bit weird. Then we got a second little run of cards here, and what we've got is the first partner Pokemon from Starbirth. That is the Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup, which are in Starbirth. But once again, they have got promo numbering, and they say promo in the bottom left-hand corner. 
which is frankly a little bit weird. And then we've got your Gen 8 first partner Pokemon that were promos over here. They were one and three pack blister promos. And you'll notice that they are all basically the same kind of image. They've all got the three of them sitting around with that fruit, with a different one of them being the particular focus of the image. But it's clearly a very clear set of free promos we had these as blister promos these are incredibly cool so this is quite nice we got a bunch of promos but not all promos like i say in this second lot of cards here three of them are just regular cards which are coming in starbirth but mirror foil with promo on and three of them are actual promos in the first image here you got your pikachu and your eevee which are just the ones from evolving skies but mirror foiled and called promos but the other three are actual promos and you got i love that hyagonosuke kangaskhan that i've not actually picked that one up yet which is clearly a bad thing on my part i think i need to go and, and, and trade for this somewhere because that is a beautiful pre-release promo but then we get to the pokemon v and the pokemon v are also sufficiently weird because we've got Charizard V, Raichu V, and Arceus V, all of which are just the regular versions that came around, or are coming around, I probably should say, in Starbirth. If we take a look at the Charizard, that is very, very clearly and obviously the regular Charizard. And the Arceus is very, very obviously the regular Arceus. We've got English scans of those ones, which is quite nice. And then we take a look at the Raichu, and the Raichu is very, very obviously the regular Raichu from Starbirth. No alternate art, nothing along those lines. They are the regular cards, but they are still stamped promo, and they've still got promo numbering. Which is very, very strange to me. The rule over here tends to be that they only get promo numbering and the Black Star, which is how we denote promos in US, Europe, etc. That only happens if they're alternate art or things of that nature. Alternate hollow patterns don't even get marked as promos over here. But they're marking them as promos even though they're just the regular cards. It's very strange. But then we've got the other three and the other three are absolutely promos that came around in different weird ways. So the more Pico is one that we may have already forgotten about. Because I'll be honest with you, come on, who's playing more Pico? Who's paying lots of attention to this particular print of more Pico? And if you're one of the people that are, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. But it was in the Champions Path Premium Collection, Marnie, and Champions Path Special Collection, Marnie. They were two very slightly different boxes, but they were both Marnie boxes, and they both had this promo in. It's an alternate art of the one that came around in Sword and Shield. It's your regular Morpico. There's only been one Lightning-type Morpico promo. This just so happens to be the promo version of it. And this is kind of cool, right? We've then got the Crobat, which I think most of you will probably be slightly more familiar with. This is the Crobat, which was a promo in the Trainer's Toolkit over here. So that's the blue one, the second one, very important because the red one has rotated out now, all the good stuff in it anyway. So we've got that promo, which is, and it, don't get me wrong, right? We're still talking Crobat. This is a phenomenal card. It's a bench, it draws you, got six cards in your hand. It's brilliant and everybody loves it. So this is kind of cool. And then we've got the last one coming in here, which is your Victini. And this is the one that makes me pretty happy. Now, for us, this is actually quite easy. This is the one that came around in the Victini V Battle Deck. Nice and simple. Over in Japan, this was actually a mistake. What they meant to do was give out this Victini. What they actually did was give out the wrong Victini. So, this is actually a Victini. It's a reprint of the one from Sword and Shield, the first Victini. But when Japan printed it, they accidentally printed it as the Battle Styles Victini. And then they apologized to everyone who earned one and sent them the real one. Which, as the lovely Antoine Boulet, who earned one of these, pointed out. They're basically going, hey, sorry for sending you a really rare promo card. To make up for it, please have a second really rare promo card. I think most people have probably forgiven them at this stage. 
So that's kind of a kind of a cool story. So once again, we've got three regular cards from Starbirth, but marked as promos. And then we've got three actual promo Pokemon V that were given out in various ways in other places, which are now coming around and being given out here. The point is, when we just thought this was, you know, a shiny Pokeball and a few packs, we were like, meh. But now knowing we got these cool promo cards, and they all come in reverse hollow or mirror fall or whatever you want to call them, and we are getting the guaranteed V in every one as well. Oh my word, this is so much cooler than it looked before, ladies and gentlemen. So much cooler than it looked before. So now I suppose it's over to you guys. Are any of you going to be heading out to Taiwan to try and find these? Are any of you going to be trying to track these down? What do you think about these cards? How cool are they? Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wazi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.